solvable with him in Philadelphia? I think so. It is because, Smith, I'll tell you this. One thing about God, we fight in the locker room among players. We argue. Smith didn't know that because it's highly competitive. But we also easy to forgive. It can be resolved, but it's going to take two things. It's going to take, to Smith's point, it's going to take Ben realizing he could have done some things different. And then it's just going to take the Philadelphia 76ers behind closed doors, giving him an apology, and then just, just stop talking about it and move mm -hmm. on and start playing basketball. Give Ben room and space and time because people don't understand. They can say what they want to say and then football players can chime in, just play better. Look, man, Philadelphia different. A football player on a football field with a helmet on, 70 yards from the fans compared to people that can reach out and touch mm -hmm. you. Yeah. It's two totally different things and two totally different games, so you cannot equate the two. Just give him time, have the conversation, and then stop talking about Ben Simmons and start talking about trying to win basketball. Let me ask what? you this, Sam, some of that, because I, the reason why I would say what you said works. But for me, before all this, say two years ago, this is the outside looking in for me. It never looked like those two got along. No. That's for me. It doesn't seem like there's a chemistry, chemistry. there. There yes. doesn't seem like there's a rapport there. Yes. So they, this is way before. This they is were co-workers. Co-workers. Yeah. And I just think co-workers, if you're co-workers and then this get, that trust gets broken and all you're going to ever get back is to co-workers. Yeah. I don't think I... Well, that's where I, I go back to what we heard from Joel Embiid uh, at the top of that highlight and where I disagreed with you on that because you just said it. They can apologize to Ben Simmons, some of them, whoever owes him an apology. And to me, it's, it's Doc and it's Joel Embiid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To me, that was an olive branch from Joel Embiid tonight. No, no, I but, don't. But when you Sam, do you come to my house. Like that, I'm with you, but when you come do to my house, man, like I don't that, want you man. talking on the microphone. Yeah, come to my house. house. See, that's <laughs> the thing to me. Come to my house. I just thought it was a gesture. Look, Mark Jackson could tell you this. We, 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 we played a practical joke on a teammate before the playoffs was. And it was kind of a cruel practical joke. And it hurt our teammates' feelings. And we went up past the line. And he left practice and didn't come back. Lad Brown called us in the room and said, look, y'all did this, go, so go fix it. We all got in our cars at 8.30 that morning, went to our teammate's house and apologized, and wouldn't leave his house until he came to practice. Mm. Because we made it, we did it. Right. Mm -hmm. And Lad Brown said, look, y'all go correct it. And so... It can, but Smith's point, you got to go to that person's house because all this talking in the news and all this, that's one thing, but people expect you to do that. Come to my house and we sit down and we talk about it and we yell and scream, but when mm -hmm. we leave my house, we good. We good. Okay. So that means you just go to somebody's house. Yeah, I'm not giving, I'm Ben's not, house is for sale. I'm not giving you two guys my address. There might be a showing at well, Ben's house. Well, I know where you live. <laughs> and, and just the, the fact that you letting them hair just grow up around your house, I still know where you live. <laughs>